Thanks for checking out Training with Huddle. Today we'll be going over how to create a highlight. Creating highlights on Huddle is a two-step process. The first step is saving clips to your highlights, and the second is creating your highlight by compiling all of the clips together, adding music, spot shadows, and all the good stuff. To get started, here are three ways to save clips to highlights. First, you can create clips from scratch in any part of your video. Second, if you have sent your video into Huddle Assist or tagged it yourself, you can create clips for highlights from your tags. Lastly, you can create clips by using reports to find your best moments. To create a highlight, first we'll open up the game we're wanting to highlight. For this example, we'll open up the central game. Once this game is opened, we can now create a clip on the bottom right hand corner if our game has not already been tagged. This will create a 7 second clip at this time, and we can then click on this clip to make sure that it captures the correct play. We can drag this left or right on the time scrubber to change what is being captured. Once we have it aligned where we'd like, select Save Clip. Now we can highlight this clip and select the gray button that says Send to Highlights. This will then send it to our highlight editor and can be found later in this process. The second option to create these clips is by using the filters on the right hand side of our screen. We can select the Teams and Athletes filters and find our name on this list. Once we've selected this, we'll get all the tags that match our name and will give us all the instances that we've been involved in this match. From here, we can select Add to your clips on the top right corner. And then once we go to the Clips panel, we can send these to our highlights. Heading to the Reports page now, you can click on any number with an underline and a video player will appear with those clips to watch back. This makes it super efficient to find awesome moments to send to our highlights. In this example, we'll select our serve receive and we'll see the video player appear. From here, we can select send to highlights and this will send our clips to our highlights. Now that we've created our clips, hover over your name in the top right corner and select your highlights. This will show us all of the games we've created highlight clips for. Then select create highlight. This takes you into our premium highlight reel editor. This is where we'll select our clips, add music and spot shadows and all the fun stuff. To get started, click on the blue plus sign in the lower right hand corner. Here is where we'll start adding content to our highlight. You can select any of these categories from the menu, but in this example we'll start off with our video. After clicking on video, you'll see all of the clips that have been sent to your highlights from our first step of creating the highlights. You'll see the clips are separated by schedule entry for easy navigation. First, click on the first schedule entry you'd like to include clips from. And if you don't see a schedule entry you'd like to pull clips from, that's because those clips have not been created yet. For this example, we'll select Huddle Central High School. Next, check the box next to each clip you'd like to include in your highlight. There's also an option to select all. Once you have your clip selected, click the blue Add Clips to Your Reel button. Repeat this process for any schedule entries you'd like to include in your highlight. Now, click the back arrow and we'll go back to the Premium Highlight Editor menu. Back on the main menu, you can now add more content to your reel. In this example, we'll add music. Scroll through to find the best music to include in your highlight. Check the box next to the music you'd like to include in your reel and click the blue button that says add song to your reel. Due to copyright reasons, you are not able to upload your own music, but we do have several options for you to choose from. After selecting our music, we can go back to the menu to add our slides next. There are a few slide layout options available, so select the slide layout you like best. Then add a title and subtitle. For example, you can add your name, position, and graduation year. Once that has been entered, click on the blue button to add your slide to that reel. You can see everything that has been added to your highlight reel so far by looking at the timeline at the bottom of the screen. Here we can rearrange our clips and title slides by clicking and dragging them across the timeline. For even more customization, you can change the theme of your highlight. This can be found at the top of the screen. Just scroll to find the perfect theme for your highlight. We have several colors to match your team colors as well as a few Gatorade themes. If you select a new theme, be aware that the title slide will automatically update to this new theme. To edit your clips further, hover your mouse over a clip and click on the pencil icon. Here you have three options to edit your clip. You can trim, add spot shadows, or add text to the slide. Starting with the trimming option, click on the scissors icon. 
A blue bar will appear at the bottom of the clip. If you need to get rid of any dead time, you can either drag the end of the blue bar to take either time off of the beginning or the end of the clip. The next edit tool option is to add a spot shadow. Spot shadows are a great way to stand out in your highlight reel. It makes it really easy for fans and recruiters to find you in a highlight. After you've selected the spot shadow button, you'll see several options appear for a spot shadow including different circles and arrows. These can be selected at the bottom of the screen. Once you've selected a style, you're able to then place it where you'd like the spot shadow to begin. You can also change the size or angle of the spot shadow by dragging the arrows at the top of the drawing. To find more spot shadow options, you can change the theme of your highlight. We can also change when the spot shadow appears by moving the blue marker on the bottom of the timeline. By moving this marker, we'll change when the spot shadow pops up in the highlight. Finally, the last edit tool option is the text tool. Click on the text icon to begin adding text. This is a great opportunity to call out an awesome moment that happened during the game. There is also the option to choose how long you want the text to appear in the clip. Drag the blue bar out if you want the text to remain on the screen longer. Repeat these same steps for the remainder of your clips if you want to trim, add spot shadows, or add text to your clips. Once we're done editing the clip, select Done. Finally, add a title for the highlight in the upper left hand corner. Once you've finished creating your highlight, click the blue publish button in the upper right hand corner. Depending on how long the highlight is, it might take 5 to 20 minutes for your highlight to render. You'll see the highlight listed on your highlights page when it's ready to view. There are additional actions you can take with your highlights. For example, you can share the highlight by clicking on share. Here you can choose to share the highlight on Facebook, Twitter, or you can copy the URL of your highlight. Make sure your team highlight privacy is set to public before sharing the highlight, otherwise fans won't be able to view your highlights. Your coach can manage the team's highlight privacy settings from their account by hovering over the team tab and going to the team settings. There they can see if the highlights are set to show or hide. If they are set to show, you can share the highlight reels publicly. Thanks for checking out our Creating Highlights for Athletes guide.